Hey, what's going on guys? Muscle Reverts here, and today I'm going to show you guys a little jump movement feature that I haven't seen anyone use on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So, I'm calling this jump the strafe slide, and if you play competitive Call of Duty, you probably have heard or know what a strafe jump is. But if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you guys how, but it's not going to be a full tutorial. If you guys really want a better explanation, there are some other videos you can look up. I'll have a couple links down in the description if you guys are interested. But anyways, to strafe jump easier, I recommend raising your sensitivity to something really high, but not too high where it's going to take a month for you guys to get used to. So for me, I recommend going on 7 or 8, but everyone's different, so play around with those settings a little bit. But after you have found your right sensitivity, here is the controller movement. So first off, you want to start in the running motion, so press down on the left thumbstick, and then if you want to strafe to the left, move the right joystick from right to left. And if you want to strafe to the right, move the right joystick from left to right this is basically going to give you guys that momentum you need to swing around a door or a building whatever it is you might be whatever a person might be set up at what you know basically whatever the scenario may be and then next you want to press the jump button so either a or x but when you're making the switch from the right thumbstick to the a button or x button you want to do it as fast as you can so this does take a little bit of practice to do but if you plan on playing competitive call of duty anytime soon you should add the strafe jump into your game or no matter no matter what player you are, I recommend using the strafe jump, but now that you know how to strafe jump, we're going to add the slide to it, which is why I'm calling this the strafe slide. So you're going to want to strafe jump, and once you have moved your finger from the right joystick to A or X, you're going to want to move it to B or circle and hold it there, and this will allow you to slide. So like I said, you really want to do it as fast as you can, and it might take a while for you to get the hang of. So like, I really like using this jump because I can get inside a building a lot faster than I can with the regular strafe jump, and I'm also making it harder for the enemy to shoot me because you're moving super fast I really wish there was a way I could show you guys in the beta but sadly there is no theater mode so the best I could do guys is show you guys the final kill cam from an enemy killing me from their point of view so I am giving him a free kill but uh, I mean I'm not gonna make it that easy for him to get this kill as you can see the slide makes it really hard for him to get a good aim on me so not only are you breaching rooms a lot faster you're also making it way harder for the other team to shoot you and this can also help you from moving to cover to cover as you can see in this clip right here so hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to strafe slide again there really isn't a name for this so you can call it whatever you want the strafe slide or the reverts jump whatever you want to name it I don't really care but the main point of this video is to help you guys out when playing Black Ops 3 so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for the greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tips and tricks and videos thank you for watching mine is averts hope you guys have a great rest of the day until next time I'll catch y'all later